Okay, hi students. Welcome back. It's me, Sanjeev Kumar Yadav from Monastic Online Class. In this session, today I will discuss about control statements of QSH. Okay. <laughs> In control statement, first I will discuss about if then statement. Actually, if then statement is used to make decision. Actually, condition is written between if and then. If the condition is true, then does the task just after that. Otherwise, executes next line automatically. That is, okay, the condition is given between if and then. This, if condition is true, does the task after this, that is this statement. Otherwise, does the task of another line, this statement. Okay. There are two syntax. One is if condition then to statement. If you write in only one line, then we have to use this first syntax. Okay, there is no in if. If we write in multi line, then we have to use this in if also. Okay. For example, in first syntax, if condition then to statement in one line, no in if. If we write in multi line, then if condition then okay true statements after that in okay now <coughs> one example okay an example to illustrate if then statements actually when we run this program then first clear the screen then computer will ask you yes or no in enter any subject name okay I have used here input. I have already discussed about input statement in previous session. Okay, that is when you run the program, first clear the screen, then computer will ask you enter any subject name with question mark. We we'll have to supply okay one string value that is any subject name. Suppose we have entered computer in capital C O M P U T E R. Computer store this value that is this string, this computer in which value? This value that is yes, dollar. yes, dollar equal to computer. Okay, then internally computer to check yes, dollar, that is computer equal to computer. Condition is true to then double class just after then then print print is used to print the result. Print what? E is subject and then terminate the word. For example, we have entered we have entered Nepal. Computer store this value in this variable that is yes or not. Okay. Then computer check yes or not, that is Nepal. Nepal is equal to computer? No. Condition is plus. Perform the job of another line, there is in terminate the program. That is, we will not get out. Actually, this program can be written using this syntax also. How? Here, uh, after this, if yes or equal to computer, then here, yes or no? Here, okay. Instead of this now, here we have to print the subject, just write there. Print. Eg subset in if en if okay just like that okay when condition is true then perform the work then that is print eg subset then again to terminate this to in this then terminate the work now next example is write or QSA program which asks you to enter any three numbers and print greatest number among it. Yes or no? That is, <coughs> write one program which asks you to enter three numbers, three distinct numbers, okay, and then print greatest number among them. Okay, first clear the screen, then three times enter first number, enter second number, enter third number. Okay, then three times you have to check that ENT. That is when you run the program, 
Okay, first clear the screen. Okay, then first here uh, input. Yes or no? Computer will ask you enter first number. Suppose we have entered cell. Computer will store this seven in E. Okay, then again computer will ask you enter second number. Again we have to supply another number. Suppose we have entered teams. Then computer will ask you enter third number. Again, we have to supply a low number, suppose 9 times, a story in C. Then, in the way, computer to change. Okay, I have already discussed in previous session about relational operator and logical operator. Here, this is relational operator and and is logical operator. Actually, this relational operator is used to compare two values. Whereas this is logical operator and is used to combine two relations and produce logical answer either true or false. Actually, in the case of and, if all the given conditions are true, then only result is true, otherwise the result is false. That is, if any one or all the given conditions are false, then result is false. Now, See there, values of TVC are there. Look, A is greater than B, that is 7 is greater than X. 7 is greater than X. No, condition is false. False then, perform the job of number line. That is this line now. If A, A means 8, 8 is greater than 9. So, greater than 7, A equal to 7. Yes, first condition is true. Now, yes, B, B means 8. 8 is greater than 9. No, false. Again, this result is false. Perform the job of another. This, this line now. Now, C equal to 9 and A equal to 7. That is 9 B greater than 7. Yes. And 9 is greater than X. Yes. Both the given conditions are true then. Perform the job of job after then. After then, there is print. Print is used to print the result. Print much. Greatest number is value of C. That is value of C equal to 9. That means we will get output. Greatest number is 9. Similarly, you can check by exchanging these values. That is by exchanging the value of variable a, b, and c, okay, then there is in this statement terminate the form. Now, next one is another control statement that is if else statement. Actually, if else statement is another form of if then statement that is. If else statement is variation of if then statement. Okay? Like if statement, like this statement, actually condition is given between if and then. Okay? In this case, if the condition is true, if the condition is satisfied, if the condition is matched, perform the job after then. Okay? Otherwise, perform the job after this. That is, if the given condition is true, the task after that. If the condition is false, perform the job after this. Okay? In this case, in this statement, in if else statement, perform the job after. Okay? Then that is of equal or of this law. But no get executed. Both statement that is a statement of if and a statement of if. Okay. Now <coughs> see some examples. Yes or no? Now first syntax if condition then true statement. Okay. Else false statement then negative. Okay. Now move to uh, the examples. Yes or no? Some examples are given there. First one. Write a QSC one. Which accept the number and print whether it is positive or negative. 
Okay. <coughs> Actually, when you run the program, yes, sir, then we know execution start from top. That is CLS. Okay. It is used to clear the screen. So first clear the screen. There is input statement. Computer will ask you. Yes or no? Enter any number with question mark. I have discussed about this. Okay. Input statement. Okay. Enter any number with question mark. We have to supply one number. Suppose we have entered five. Computer store this file in this variable. Okay. Yeah. Y equal to 5. Then internally computer checks. Okay. Y is greater than 0. We know the number which is greater than 0 is positive. And the number which is smaller than 0 is negative. Okay. Then computer checks. Y is greater than 0. That is 5 is greater than 0. Condition is true. True that. Do the task after that. After that, there is this print. Print is used to print the result. Print what? Yen. The value of yen equal to 5. That is 5 is positive number. Okay. I have discussed earlier. Okay. Either executes if block or else block. Already if block is executed. Okay. Then terminate the one. Then close this. Okay. This is a block that terminates the program. For example, we have entered minus 5. Okay, we have entered minus 5, that is computer school, minus 5 in n. Now, <coughs> minus 5 is greater than 0. Okay, no, condition is false. False then, perform the job after this. After this, there is print again, n equal to minus 5. Minus 5 is negative. Okay, then terminate this block and end the work. Similarly, another example is write a QBS program which accepts uh, actually two numbers. Yes or no? Which accepts two numbers. Yes or no? And print whether um, print greater number amount. Okay, computer asks you to enter two numbers. Okay, and print greater number among them. Actually, when you run the program, first computer will clear the screen. CLS is there. Then computer asks you, input first input there. Enter first number. Okay, we have to supply one number, anyone. Suppose you have entered four. Computer store this four in A. That is A equal to four. Computer ask another input is there. Enter second number. Suppose enter second number. Suppose I have entered 5. Computer store this value in B. B equal to 5. Now internally, computer match. 4 A equal to 4. 4 is greater than 5. Condition is false. Okay. False then perform the job. After this, after this, there is Prints, the greater number is value of b, b equal to 5. That is, print what way? The greater number is 5. Okay. Suppose, uh, extend this value. Okay. First, enter first number, then we have entered 5. Enter second number, enter 4. Okay. That is, a equal to 5 and b equal to 4. In this case, come uh, uh, here. Check e, if a, a equal to 5. 5 is greater than uh, 4. Condition is true. True then. Perform the job after that. After that, there is what you print. Greater number is value of A. Okay. Value of A equal to 5. That is, output will be the greater number is 5. And then terminate the two. Now, next example. That is example 3. Write a QBS form which asks you to enter any number and prints whether entered number is even or odd. Okay, we all know the number which is exactly divisible by 2 is called even number, and the number which is not exactly divisible by 2 that is called odd number. Okay, 
Actually, when we run the program, first clear the screen that computer will ask you to enter any number with question mark. We have to supply one number. Suppose enter four. Okay, computer store this four in this variable here that is r equal to now in number. Okay, r equal to no man, there is r equal to n number two. I have discussed earlier in operator, in arithmetical operator, actually mod returns the remainder. That is uh, 2 <coughs> divided by 4, that is 2 to the 4, 0, that is r equal to 0. Okay. Now, that is r equal to 0. Now, here is condition, if r equal to 0, in this case, yes. Yes, that condition is true. Then does task after that. After that, there is print n is even number. n means n means what? Four. Okay. That is four is even number. That terminates the four. Suppose we have in touch five. That is n equal to five. Now see here. To do the four remainder one. That is r equal to one. Now check it. If r equal to 0, no. r equal to 1. Condition is false. False then, perform the order is. After this, there is print n is odd number. That is, n equal to 5. Okay. 5 is odd number. Then, turns a block that in the order. Similarly, Another example, see now example 4. Write a QAC program which accepts an alphabet and prints whether the entire alphabet is well or consonant. There is 5 words, okay, out of 26 and rest are consonant. Now, when you run the program, first clear the screen, okay. First clear the screen, then control asks you enter any alphabet. With question one, we have to supply one alphabet any one out of matrices. Suppose we have entered n. Computer store this n in a double. That is a double equal to n. Then check condition. <coughs> okay, a double equal to a. That is n equal to a. No, there is our let me discuss first about this here. Actually, R is logical operator. Okay. Actually, uh, this combines two or more relations and then produce uh, logical answer either true or false. Actually, in the case of R, if any one or all the given conditions are true, then result is true. Otherwise, result is false. That is, result is false only if all the given conditions are. Now see, a dollar equal to a, that is a dollar equal to n, n equal to a, no, n dollar means, a dollar means n equal to e, no, n equal to i, no, n equal to o, no, n equal to u, no, now n equal to small a, no, n dollar means, a dollar means n, n equal to e, no, n equal to small i, no, n equal to small o, no, n equal to small u, no. all the given conditions are false. False then, perform the job after else, after this consonant, n is consonant. Similarly, okay, suppose there is a in place of n, computer store this value in a dollar, that is a dollar equal to a. Now, <coughs> there is a double, a double equal to a, a equal to a, yes. Condition is true, true, then perform the job after that. After that, there is print void. Okay, that is a equal to void. Then in the program, is an indication that it terminates the. Okay, thanks for putting it.